Hi, my name is Michael O'Neill. I'm a technical trainer with Spartan Chassis, and today we're going to talk about how to properly measure and adjust the air pressure in your tires on a Spartan vehicle. Of course, one of the reasons we want to do this is safety, naturally. Then, of course, it's also going to be for proper handling and even tire wear. The tools you're going to need to do this job properly are a trusted truck tire gauge, an air source that is achievable to make sure you have proper inflation in your tires, and then last but not least, a scale that can measure the front axle, the rear axle, and then a tag axle if it applies to your Spartan vehicle. All right, let's now move down to the tire. The four pieces of information we're going to need off this tire are the manufacturer, the model, the size, and then the load range. Just remember that it's very important that the tire pressure across each axle is the same. Example, the two front tires on the steer axle should have the same air pressure. Your drive axle has four tires. Those tires should all be equal pressure. And if you have a tag axle on the back, you'll have two more tires back there, and those two tires should be the same pressure. When weighing your vehicle, make sure it is loaded as you normally travel down the road, full of fuel, water, cargo, passengers, just make sure it weighs the same as it is as you're driving down the highway. And now slowly pull on to the scale. Some scale houses have a light that will tell you when you are centered across the scale properly. Now, obtain the printed slip when you're done and make sure this is per axle weight. Front axle, rear axle, and tag axle. Identify your tire's manufacturer. Then go to the tire manufacturer's website to obtain the proper inflation chart. Make sure it is for your vocation, whether it be a recreational vehicle or an emergency vehicle. Model, size, and load range. Now that you have your model, size, and load range, follow the pressure chart across to match your wheel end weight. Wheel end weight is half of the total axle weight. If your weight falls in between pressures, always inflate to the next highest pressure. Always check tire pressure cold. The pressure values in the chart are based on a cold tire. Cold pressure is defined as a vehicle that has not been driven for a minimum of three hours. Now we're going to measure and adjust. First we're going to take the valve stem cap off from the valve stem. Take my tire, trusted tire pressure gauge. Of course push firmly onto the tire, check the pressure, now go to my press tire pressure chart and the, we previously have looked up, make sure it's the right pressure. Of course if it's too low we need to add, then we're going to get our trusted air source and we're going to fill the tire, recheck, and of course if it meets the chart we're good. If the tire pressure is too high, of course, we have to adjust it down. Release air pressure, recheck again, verify it matches the pressure we achieved off our chart, and now that we've got the right pressure, reinstall the valve stem cap firmly. In review, let's go over what we just covered today. Why is it important to maintain proper air pressure in your tires? Of course, number one is safety. Number two, proper handling. And then, of course, make sure you get maximum wear out of your tires.